In this technology training quick tip, we're going to look at how you can calculate a person's age based on their birth date. There's a couple things that I'm going to need to perform this calculation. The first is the person's birth date. And you'll see I have a list of employees with their birth date located here in column I. The second thing I need to know is what date do I need to know this person's age on. As an example, do I need to know how old they are today or at a date in the future or in the past? For our first example, we're going to use the date of January 1, 2011. So I'm going to type that date here in cell J2 in my spreadsheet and I'll go ahead and hit tab. Now that I have these two different dates, I can find out the difference between those dates by doing a simple arithmetic calculation in Excel. I'm going to type the equal sign since all calculations in Excel have to begin with the equal sign. Then I'm going to click on the most recent date which was January 1, 2011. Type in a minus sign and then click on the birth date. Once I have those two dates put in there with the minus sign between them, I'm going to hit enter and you'll see I get a numeric value. The numeric value that we see in cell K2 represents the number of days between the two different dates. What you may not know about Excel is that even though we see dates in their month, day, year format, behind the scenes Excel is really storing that date as a serial number. For example, serial number 1 always represents January 1st, 1900. Serial number 2 would be January 2nd, 1900. So here we have in K2 the number of days between December 8th, 1976, this person's birth date, and the date January 1st, 2011, when we want to know their age. In order to calculate their age on that specific day, I'm going to click in cell L2. I'll proceed my calculation with an equal sign and then I'm going to choose the value that I produced in cell K2 and I'll divide it by 365.25. That's going to give us an average since 3 out of 4 years we have 365 days and that fourth year we have 366. Now when I hit enter I'm going to get an age value here. You'll see it says 34.06434. Because of the way that we deal with ages, though, we only think of their age in round numbers. There's a neat function in Excel which will round down to the integer that's showing in a number like this with several decimal places. So if I click in cell M2, I'm going to type the equal sign and then write out my function for that, which is INT for integer. I'm going to open my parentheses, click in cell L2 to select it, and then close my parentheses and hit enter, and you'll see it gives me the number of 34. So if I wanted to do this calculation for this entire group of employees, I can simply highlight J2 through M2, grab my fill handle, and pull that down. You'll notice that in column J, the dates have proceeded um, one day at a time, so I'm going to go to my autofill options and just choose copy cells. And you'll notice that all of my J column now says January 1st, 2011. I'd also like you to notice that in column M, where we, I have all of these ages listed, as an example here, in cell L12, this person here is almost 36 on January 1st, 2011, but you'll see because I haven't quite turned that yet, they're still considered 35 here in column M. Thank you for visiting Technology Training's Quick Tips. For more information, please visit our website.